it's Crazy Van Gogh Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're watching the second episode of Everyone Kenobi. We just finished watching the first one. So let's not waste any time and just jump into the next episode. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <laughs> <gasps> Wait. <gasps> Wait. He's from the Fiver first. It's from Anakin's battalion. Oh. <laughs> the Jedi are all gone. I'll take you to Who? Which Jedi? I won't let anything happen to you. Okay, so he's a little bit of a trickster. And in a way, good, but also he's doing it for the money. What do you know of the Force? My friend, just that there's a lot of remotes and magnets. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? That depends on what you tell me. Yes, everyone, put him in his place. But in my experience, rats know more about the sewers than anyone else. Oh, great dialogue. Oh. Oh, they're making all of that stuff. <laughs> Gotta get through the back way, everyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all this stuff is basically drugs, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I seem to have lost my way. Yeah, I'll get back to work. Oh! Oh, come on, Obi! You have to be uncivilized now. Whoa! <laughs> oh no. Did she get out? Yeah. I didn't know the Jedi could. I'm surprised you fell for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course it was supposed to be a trap. Jedi anymore, Kenobi. You're just a man. That's not true. Well, everybody bleeds. <laughs> Smart one, OV. Unfortunately, little princess. Have no right. I found a link between him and Organa in the archives. I used the girl as bait. And you did this with Oh, she found it through the archives. Craving. It will not change what you are. And what is that? The least of us. Huh? You came to us from the gutter. You're to stand down. Dealt with when he returned. Whoa, the music! Ah! Shit, she got put down. I don't think she'll go quietly though. I want every low life and bounty hunter on this planet to know Kenobi. Then you should see. Hmm. Oh. Obviously, wait, hold on. I just want to say, because I know a lot of people gave a lot of backlash for the fact that Rupert Friend was playing the Grand Inquisitor, and I know a lot of people wanted, I think it was Isaac, I can't remember, and I just know, is it, I just know that he was played by the guy who played Lucius Malfoy in Harry Potter, his voice, he did the voice for Rebels. I think Rupert Friend is doing a great job, and obviously it's a different interpretation of the character. I personally like it. Um, I know a lot of people gave a lot of backlash for the makeup, 
but I think it looks great too. I'm someone who just doesn't complain. I'm just thankful that we're getting these characters in live action and I think he looks great but also I just think he's getting the characteristics and just those little little tendencies for the character just right um, and I think he's doing great. Also I'm actually really enjoying Reva. Just wanted to say that. Anyway. Good. Oh, RB. He can be like that, a little bit heartless. Leia. That's what you were hiding. You're the reason I'm here. They took me to get to you. Oh. I don't blame her for being scared. She doesn't know who he is. Oh, Leia. Whoa! <laughs> oh, she's coming for him! Oh, she's so cool. No, don't jump! That's way too big of a gap for you, princess. No! Come on, Kenobi! <gasps> oh, please! Can I be, please? Come on, please, please, please! Oh! 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 <laughs> Look, since I met you, I've been chased, shot at, I almost fell to my death, and now there are inquisiting people after us. <laughs> Nothing, you just remind me of someone. It's too unstubborn. I'm not stubborn. Yes, you are. I'm not. <laughs> what, is he, what is he talking about, Padme? She died a long time ago. I'm sorry. Or is he talking about Satine? <laughs> oh. You're not going to die today. <laughs> Lord Vader will be pleased. You didn't know. He's alive, Obi-Wan. Oh my god! Anakin Skywalker is alive. He can feel it. <gasps> what? Who's in the gutter now? Irby. It's only a six episode thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Jesus. Uh, I can't believe I got teary out of that <laughs> because we just got Hayden as Vader in the back to tank. Oh, God. Hoo-wee. Hoo-wee. Okay. <laughs> that was such a great episode. The tension was there. Um, and Deborah, again, the directing style that she has is so unique. It's so colourful as well, and just 
everything to do with Star Wars. It's so beautiful. I loved that whole sort of like everyone having to go sort of like in the back streets, having to go through like that drug sort of like underbelly sort of area and then getting Leia and then oh my god the whole interaction with him and Leia that girl who's playing Leia is so good very again like I said it's very much feels like the attitude of what Carrie Fisher was like when she was playing like the younger version of Leia and even when she was playing in the older one I love this show already it's so good and just again the emotions are high so many like throwbacks to like the original movies and to even the Clone Wars like tv show um just so good. I am surprised by how quickly the Inquis- like the Grand Inquisitor was killed off. I was thinking, like, I had a, a theory that he might die later in the series, or that he might die and then come back. So I'm guessing he might come back? I'm not sure, because I, I think he's died before in Rebels. So, like, I'm trying to remember. So, yeah, I'm just checking. Yeah, it seems like, apparently, yeah, I'm remembering that the Inqu- Inquisitor did die or something happened to him. And also just the continuity of how this goes into sort of, like, um, everything to do with Rebels. Like, that's the thing. Um, we still have... I'm pretty sure Rebels takes off place after this. I can't, I don't know the continuity. I need to figure that out in the next week or so, just so I get the right sort of like timeline. But still, I love um, Rupert Freehand. Uh, I can't, I can never say his last name, but he is so good as the Grand Inquisitor. I love him and he's so good. And also I love Reva. She's very interesting. And again, the aggression, she has so much anger and just also she wants that respect. So she's fighting to get... Obi-Wan and take him to Anakin or Darth Vader and so yeah Obi knows the truth now that Anakin is alive um and I think like he I I mean like he said like Darth Vader will know like will want to like you know have you and Darth Vader will be pleased so then I feel like that's I'm not sure if like Kenobi acknowledges that that Darth Vader is Anakin, but that Anakin is alive. But I think, like, he gets the idea that something's not right with Anakin. Obviously, well, obviously, he turned, like, bad. And then he, like, or sort of killed him, essentially. Not really, but, like, sort of. Um, and just, yeah. I, I'm, oh. It's gonna be so emotional <laughs> when Obi-Wan... I mean, yeah, there has to be some sort of showdown, right? Between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. Especially because, like... I know a lot of people are like, why do we need another showdown between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan? But then, uh, in a way, it makes sense in terms of continuity-wise, especially because in... What's the movie? I, I always forget the names of the Star Wars movies, but, like, with Al- Alex Alex Guinness as, like, Obi-Wan, and then when he fights Darth Vader, and Darth Vader's like, oh, like, we have... Like, I, it's not in the same context, I can't remember exactly the, the dialogue, but he's like, oh, you've changed since the last time we've met. So it's like... It can either be in the sense of the last fight on Mustafa, or it can mean the last fight in whatever that's going to happen in this show. So, I'm very excited to see. Oh, I really hope we get a showdown. But yeah, so far, I'm really enjoying this show. I didn't think I'd be so emotional watching this show. It's so good. It's amazing. I'm really enjoying it for what it is. Um... And I'm excited to be surprised. We've gotten a lot of Easter eggs that I've really enjoyed. But, also, another thing. Was... Everyone talking about Satine when he was talking to Leia, like saying like she died long ago, or was it Padme? Because I was like, it could be in the sense of either one, because in a way, even though she's not Satine's child, it still could remind him of his lo- his lover, because he loved Satine, and Satine definitely has the attitude that Padme did, and also the attitude that Leia has. Oh my god, I really... I re- this is another thing. I hope... There are flashbacks to Clone Wars era. I would love to see Anakin, Obi-Wan as well. And, I mean, Padme would be really cool, but I'm not sure, like, if they would get Natalie Portman back. And even someone to play, um, Satine. Like, a lot of people have said, like, as a fan, sort of, like, casting as Kate Blanchett. Because it's very close. And also, she sort of looks like her. Um... I wouldn't, I, I mean, I wouldn't, like, mind that, because I love Kate Blanchett, she's a goddess, but also, like, I, I anybody, just play Satine, and I'll be really happy in live action. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just, yeah, there's so many possibilities, and so many directions I can take this show, so yeah, I'm very excited for the next few episodes, it's gonna be so good, but, like, already, there's four more episodes left, and then, who knows, because... They already said that this is like a one-time thing, so it's like, hey! So it's like basically like a six-hour movie in one, so 
I'm so excited to watch the rest of this show. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the first episode as well as the second episode of Obi-Wan. I absolutely loved it. So good. Um, the music is great. So good. And I just, oh, it's going to be. I just uh, I just can't wait for the rest of this show. I can't wait to see more of the Inquisitors and also just sort of like, not the rivalry that they have, but just the fact that they can't get along. None of them can get along. And I love that. It just makes it interesting. Um, so I can't wait to see more of the Inquisitors. And if we do see the Grand Inquisitor again, how's that going to work? Or how's that going to like happen? So we shall see. I am excited though to see what happens and how that works out. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for the rest of this show. It's gonna be so good. Anyway, whew, I'm gonna stop it here. Otherwise, I can talk about this forever. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Mango out. Woo!